Hello, this is Michael Grant with Applied CAX. Uh, today I'm going to go through visualization preferences, and this is uh, a preference that sets the display quality of the parts you're looking at. Um, but we're also going to talk about um, load options uh, because this also has an effect on uh, what you're looking at. So I'll open a sample. Um, it's actually um, something that is in your uh, default. Uh, install. Um, you just might not be able to open it in manufacturing, um, but you'll still be able to open the assembly um, or at least parts of the assembly. There's also um, like fixtures. And so I like to use those as examples because everybody has access to them. So you can kind of see the, the location here. It's under the mock directory. Sometimes the machines won't load the machine file unless um, you have manufacturing, but the fixtures will. Um, so here you can see uh, what's cylindrical has some uh, straight edges or kind of made up of some lines. And um, so I'm going to go over visualization settings on that. But the other thing I wanted to show is that um, the, these aren't fully loading and I can tell because they're just check marks without boxes um, which you can still hide and show with these but um, when you when you don't see a box around it I know uh, that it's not fully loaded um, you can also add a column uh, to your uh, navigator that uh, I believe it's under representation yeah so lightweight um, there might even be Another one for load state. Yeah. And so there you can see uh, minimally loaded. Uh, so that's a good way to, to kind of look at it. And so you can really customize these. You can even sort them as far as under, uh, if you go under properties um, and then columns, you can sort and turn them on and off from here. So, um, I'll save that for now. So on restart, we have uh, have that still. And so uh, this is your roles. And I, I usually start with an advanced role, but um, you can try different roles. The out of the box roles are under content. Um, the advanced role is what turned on uh, the selection bar um so you could see you can also uh turn that on uh maybe it's not the selection bar i guess it's called the uh top border bar and so you you can also manually turn that on and off um but i like to turn on you know different sections here you can turn on and off and one handy one is the view group um in this case i don't think we um, I don't think uh, we need it, but it can, can come in handy to update your display. Okay, so getting back to this. Um, so in this case, we're not fully loaded, and so you're not going to see um, the visual representation of the part. And also, this, this definitely has an effect on the looks anyway, um, because if we just open this part in a new window, you can see it already um, looks better because when you open a part in its own window, it's fully loaded. Um, and so we don't even, in this case, need to turn up the visualization, I wouldn't think, I mean, because it looks pretty good. Um, but we'll fix the assembly side. And so um, with the role that I loaded, I can get to assembly load options uh, when I open this dialog here. Um, just selecting on it. If, if yours doesn't show there, remember that you can use this uh, search up here and it will find it for you. In some cases, it'll uh, highlight well, where it's at. In other cases, for some reason, in this case, it's just letting us um, select it from there. 
Okay, so as you can see here, under my assembly load options, I have lightweight. Now, remember that these do, uh, depending on how large your assemblies are and how powerful your computer is, this will have an effect on um, speed. Now, if you want to just test it and change it in this session, um, you can just change it here and say, you know, even partially load, okay, and then just close, you know, parts and components for what you have open. And then we'll go reopen it and so you can see uh, already you know we have you know not a great um, visualization but better and so I guess this would be a good time to show that setting and see if uh, partially load allows that to display correctly and so I'm going to file and preferences um, and then we're going to go to uh, visualization, and and now's a good time to also pause and 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 point out that when you want more info, because I'm giving kind of an overview here, um, you can hit F1, and your system should pull up um, in context uh, help. So it should pull up the topic. Now it isn't always going to, but in this case, it did, and it also pulled it up for my version. Um, so this is the case for assembly load options. Also, when I had that dialog up, you could hit F1 and it would pull it up. Now I've also uh, also going to provide a link on um, in case your help isn't installed correctly. I can provide a link to uh, NX Online or GTAC and their support center, and um, you can search for uh, different topics and then even set the NX version. And so you can you can select what you see. So documentation would be your help and knowledge base would be like answered questions um, and uh, tips and tricks. And so you could set your version. So I'll provide links to these. Um, but for now, going back here, we're in visualization, advanced under accuracy. And I'll set ultra fine just so we could see a difference. And I like uh, fixed because it'll just do everything not dependent on uh, your uh, zoom level. And so you can see there it did clean that up. And so now the visual visual representation is better. And so if you want to change this uh, load option, um, you know, as a default, so it's always that way, um, what you would do is go into that assembly load options, set whatever you want, which we'll leave it at partially load go down to save, saved load options. If you don't see this, it might be that you have less. And sometimes if you have it set to less, it'll open that lower section anyway. There are times I've seen that not work. So you can always come up to this gear icon and say more. And so under save, I'm just gonna say save as default. And so now if I restart NX, so I'll pause for a moment. Okay, so now we've have it restarted, and if I go into, um, well, we'll open a part first. I'm not sure that. Uh, let's see. Oh, assembly load options does show now. Um, so you can see partially load is still there, and if I go and open the same assembly. Now with your visualization, um, that's going to be in the particular part or in the session that you're working on. If you want that to be set for new parts, um, you would go into your templates and set that and then save your templates. So here we can see that um, visualization didn't uh, save because I didn't hit save on the part. Um, this particular part is, is set to read only. All right, thank you.